Okay, good afternoon, everybody. Um, we're going to give you an update on what's been happening for the last several, well, for the last day and a half of uh, President Kim's trip here to Vietnam. I'm joined by Finance Secretary Cesar Purisima. The two of us and uh, Secretary Greg Domingo and Secretary Abad have been sitting in on the meetings alternately, so um, Secretary Purisima may have some uh, information about the uh, China ASEAN summit that I was not privy to, so he's here also to, to take some of your questions. Let's begin with last night. Um, we had a bilateral with Brunei. The Sultan of Brunei was there. Um, we invited the uh, we invited the government of Brunei. <coughs> Are we okay? Sure. Okay, welcome to this afternoon's briefing on President Aquino's trip to Vietnam for the ASEAN summit and other summits. Last night, we had a bilateral with the Sultan of Brunei. Uh, the President Aquino personally invited the Sultan to send a delegation from the Brunei Investment Agency to uh, attend the upcoming public-private partnership <coughs> conference where the Aquino administration is going to launch a number of uh, projects for the consideration of international investments. That's going to happen um, early in November. Secretary Borisima can give you more details on that. But uh, we do expect that uh, the Brunei Investment Agency will send representatives to this very important conference. There was also some talk about the grand mosque that's being built in Cotabato, uh, almost complete. And um, we were just reporting on that uh, to the Sultan of Brunei because they have supported this project. Also, this, now this morning there was a bilateral with uh, Korea, South Korea. We also took the opportunity to invite the Koreans to send a delegation to the PPP conference, which is happening in November. We also thank Korea for its support in investments, trade, uh, and the, amount, the growing amount of uh, assistance that they're providing for different projects in the Philippines. Um, also, of course, for tourism, uh, Korean tourists are the largest, if not one of the largest, if not the largest group of tourists coming to the Philippines lately. And so, uh, we've also assured them that we're taking these steps to improve the security situation so that uh, their tourists don't have to worry about their safety. On a per personal note, President Lee Young Bak <coughs> told President Aquino that he had actually known his mother, President Cory Aquino, personally, and they had met on several occasions. Uh, so there was a, a little bit of a, there was some casual talk as well. They also seemed very relaxed with each other in this meeting. There was a lot of talk about uh, not necessarily political or official things. We, we in turn, uh, offered our support for Korea's leading role in the six-party talks with uh, North Korea. And uh, President Aquino offered to support the six-party talks in any way that the Philippines can. Uh, we leave it up to the six party countries to decide if they want to take us up on the offer. But anything from uh, participating as a mediator to even hosting possible talks was offered by President Aquino. So uh, we're eager to see these six party talks move forward. And if there's anything the Philippines can do to help, uh, we will do so. <coughs> this afternoon, there was the China ASEAN Summit. China was expounding on its cooperation with ASEAN. Uh, we're happy to know that two of the things that the Philippines has proposed to ASEAN 
the uh, increase in con connectivity and disaster management were eagerly supported by the Chinese, among many other things. President Aquino also reiterated his concern about uh, getting the six-party talks moving again. He urged China to use its influence to get those talks moving again. There was some talk about the uh, declaration and conduct of the South China Sea. The president mentioned it. Um, he asked, uh, well, he, he noted that, that uh, there are going to be talks this coming, before the end of the year, uh, on a, well, tech, joint working committees are going to be working to flesh out some of the details on that. So there's progress on uh, moving forward on the Declaration of Code of Conduct. Secretary Parisimo was there at, uh, at um, many of these meetings where we talked about the DPP conferences. Maybe you can talk to Assessor a little bit about um, how important the DPP conference will be and why we're inviting all these people here. Uh, thank you, uh, uh, Ricky. Uh, yes, uh, the, the conference is on November 18 and uh, uh, 19, and uh, uh, this is uh, part of the program of the president to really uh, address the three main issues that has held back the economic growth of the uh, Philippines in the past uh, 20 years, and that's uh, uh, the infrastructure gap, uh, that's corruption, that's uh, bureaucracy, and uh, policies. No? Uh, and uh, on the infrastructure gap, uh, uh, we are embarking on a very ambitious uh, program to attract uh, private capital and expertise uh, into uh, infrastructure investments in the country. And uh, we are uh, looking back to the over uh, 15 years of experience in DPP in the Philippines. And we were making adjustments to make sure uh, that moving forward we avoid some of the problems that were we faced uh, the past year. Uh, principally, the changes would be uh, one focus more on uh, solicited projects, uh, uh, which are uh, more transparent uh, compared to unsolicited uh, uh, projects. Uh, secondly, uh, uh, if necessary, uh, guarantee uh, uh, regulatory uh, risk. And third, uh, create a conducive financing environment that will allow uh, proponents to get uh, funding up to 25 years. All of these details uh, will be announced uh, in that uh, uh, conference. On the ASEAN uh, China, uh, China uh, uh, proposed uh, a second, uh, a very detailed second five year plan of uh, action that had six uh, major points. No? Uh, the first is to uh, uh, promote the sustainable and sound development of the free trade uh, uh, area. Uh, they noted that uh, the trade, uh, bilateral trade between ASEAN. Uh, and uh, China is up 43% uh, so far uh, the first nine months of 2010, with uh, China having a deficit of over $12 billion. Uh, uh, dollars. Uh, uh, second, uh, to put in place a uh, preliminary network of connectivity, uh, as pointed out by uh, Ricky. The third is the advanced opening of the financial and capital uh, markets uh, to make sure that uh, uh, we uh, all the markets would end up being stronger. He uh, urged the ASEAN countries, banks, to set up branches in China, and uh, he also will be encouraging Chinese banks to set up branches in uh, in the ASEAN uh, countries. He also uh, wanted to increase uh, the bilateral uh, bilateral currency swap that has been agreed to uh, in the past. He also lauded the creation of the China ASEAN Interbank uh, Association. The fourth is the expansion and strengthening of the regional cooperation in agro-economy. And this is where he had the most extensive proposal, where he uh, proposed the creation of uh, uh, 20 experimental uh, stations for R&D across uh, uh, ASEAN, uh, training of 1,000 agri-personnel in China from ASEAN. He will send 300 experts uh, from China to ASEAN is proposing also to build three uh, new agro-industrial centers across uh, uh, ASEAN. The fifth is the uh, scale-up uh, and uh, implementa on the implementation of the Sustainable Development uh, Agenda. He proposed uh, the creation of a China-ASEAN Green Envoy uh, Program. He didn't provide details of that. Uh, he also proposed the uh, creation of the uh, China ASEAN uh, Environmental Center and this uh, Disaster Reduction Center. And uh, finally, he uh, 
propose uh, to deepen mutual understanding and trust between ASEAN and uh, uh, China. And this is where we'd like to take advantage of the 20th anniversary of the ASEAN-China engagement in 2011. And we'd like that to be declared the China-ASEAN friendship uh, year, where there will be a goal of uh, sending over 100,000 uh, uh, government uh, uh, and students uh, across ASEAN uh, exchange of visits. They also offer 10,000 scholarships to government people, uh, 10,000 uh, uh, youth uh, scholarships to visit uh, China. Uh, he also proposed the streamlining of entry and exit procedures across ASEAN and uh, uh, China. So I, I thought that uh, the, the proposed uh, uh, second five-day plan of action was uh, quite uh, detailed and quite uh, aggressive. He also uh, finally uh, made the comment, uh, I'm talking to the Premier, uh, that uh, China is serious about the implementation of the uh, Declaration of Code of Conduct in the South China Sea.